Jandre, if I get out the way, can you see it just there? There it is. Sorry about the bar, everybody, but we've got our rain covers on, and there's our little scrub here, who looks mortified by the rain. You can see it's all damp, its coat is matted, and look at the little nose trying to sniff to see what we are and whether we're a threat. Now it's using its camouflage to try and hide away, so it's trying to stay as still as possible in this long grass, and you can see that coat pattern actually works very, very well. Now if we're a predator, most of the predators out here have very limited color vision, and so that coloration is going to blend in really well and make it really easy for the scrub air to stay nice and still and maybe be overlooked by a predator. But it, it would be quite nervous, and you can see it's actually shivering because of the wet and cold, so it's not going to be that pleasant, and so that maybe that's why it's out and starting to move, just to get a bit of body heat going so it stays nice and warm. Shame, little one, are you cold? It is actually very chilly out here compared to what it's been over the last few weeks. It's quite cool. And I suppose if you've just been rained upon and you're sitting in some cold, damp grass, it can't be that nice. So I think we're going to leave this little one so it can start moving around and doing what it needs to do. Oh, there we go. It's just run out onto the road, actually. You can see those long ears. Now those ears are what makes the difference between a rabbit and a hare. And also, you see the way that it moves? It is running rather than hopping. Now, rabbits like to hop... I sincerely hope that the little hyena cubs are not